And with your Storm Team 2 weather update on this Monday night, I'm meteorologist Elise Smith. Starting with your weather headlines for the week. First one, it's the end of February. We're heading into March. We're transitioning seasons. Not surprising that we are going to see an active and unsettled week with several weather systems moving in and out of the region, which is going to bring in the chance for showers throughout the week. We have several shower chances, which started today. will go all the way through Friday and Friday storm system in particular. Looks like we have the potential for some heavy snow similar to what we had today, but put, could potentially last a little bit longer. And yes, as for that snow that moved in during the evening commute, we saw a quick two inches up on rooftop weather today. 4.3 inches fell within a few hours at the Buffalo Airport, Niagara Falls, 3.5, Williamsville, 3.7, and other portions of Erie County ranged between 1 to 3 inches. Same thing for the Niagara Frontier, but farther south across the southern tier, that transition to rain happened pretty quickly. And that is also what led to some of these winter weather alerts. We have winter weather advisories that are still in effect for western New York. It goes until midnight for northern Erie, Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Then until 6 a.m. for Southern Erie County, Wyoming County, the Southern Tier and Northern Pennsylvania, as we still could see some mixing, potentially some rain, sleet and snow the farther south you go. So for your morning commute tomorrow, we'll be pretty much done with any heavy precipitation or at least the wintry mix. We'll still have the chance for a couple of spot showers, potentially some wet roads, maybe a slick spot or two. But generally speaking, it will be much better than the evening commute we had tonight. Then tomorrow evening, mostly cloudy and a bit breezy. That's actually the next weather impact, not necessarily the rain or the snow. Once all of that moves out, winds will pick up. So into tomorrow, as the system swirls over our heads, winds will pick up at least the gusts will first off of Lake Erie, where wind gusts for the morning commute could reach range between 30 to 40 miles per hour. We're expecting those peak wind gusts for all of western New York right around lunchtime, upwards of 40 miles per hour at times. But the system quickly lifts away and it takes the gusty breeze with it into tomorrow evening. So it's just a small time frame when we're anticipating those gusty winds. Current satellite and radar loop, though, you can see after that main base and of precipitation move through that was pretty heavy. Everything's kind of breaking down, become more widely scattered, though the radar is picking up on what could be some uh, sleet mixing with rain, some frozen precipitation from Niagara County all the way down through Genesee County. I've been looking at surface observations. Niagara Falls, it's falling as rain, so I believe the bulk of this is falling as rain, and you can see the rain right now pretty light in nature in Buffalo Hamburg Orchard Park. Then farther south across the southern tier, we transition to rain pretty quickly earlier this evening still have some showers across ski country. I know I wish you picked up more of the snow that we had in Buffalo today. But we're starting to see a little more snow move in with this system. The farther south you go as some colder air wraps in with this. It's a gigantic low. It's weakened over the past 24 hours, become a little unorganized, but you can see how it's still wrapping in all this precipitation across the Great Lakes and now mid Atlantic as well. So we'll keep that chance for some rain, some snow, a couple of showers into tomorrow while it's still swirling overhead. So here we go on future look. It's done a pretty good job with this event, at least time it and showing the placement of the potential showers. It has everything lifting away pretty quickly. A spot shower overnight into tomorrow morning. I do believe we are going to have some hit or miss rain for the morning commute. Then moving into the afternoon, I wouldn't rule out a stray flurry off of Lake Erie potentially, but that's about it. That spot shower chance into tomorrow, I do buy that, so just be aware of it. Otherwise, not a big impact. Now, Tuesday night into Wednesday, brand new system moves in, and this is where that unsettled stretch, you'll start to see it. The timing and placement of precipitation beyond tomorrow is still up in the air at this point. But Wednesday, with another system moving in, we do anticipate the potential for a couple of showers. Right now, Future Look has them moving in uh, into the mid morning and early afternoon. This is noon, a wave of a wintry mix lifting in from south to north. Then we're dry for the bulk of the rest of the day until we get into Wednesday night. So you see the cyclical nature of those showers beginning tomorrow, lasting all the way through most of the week until we get to Friday. Friday is the day we're watching at this point as we could see some widespread snow showers. In the meantime, the precipitation will pick up 
Tuesday all the way through potentially Thursday, mostly cloudy day. Not much in the way of accumulation or impact. Friday, a, a big system could move in, keep a couple of snow showers into Saturday morning. Then we clear out after that. But otherwise, too, the other thing you'll notice with these seven day zone forecasts is that they're pretty cold uh, into this week. Not so much, but then Friday, once that snowy system moves in, the back end of it does keep temperatures below average as we head into March. But again, the main day you need to know about this week is Friday with that chance for some snow. And that's your Storm Team 2 weather update on this Monday night. Have a great night.